Hi, in this video we're going to do an arithmetic annuity example. This is a standard example, uh, except that towards the end of the video I want to give you a, a little calculator shortcut. So I want to introduce that within the example. So we'll see that at the end. Okay, so the problem, we have an annuity due with annual payments has an initial payment of three. Each subsequent payment is three more than its preceding payment until reaching a final payment of 45. And we want to determine the present value of this annuity using a 6% annual effective interest rate. So I got this, this you know, I'm given the, the interest rate, which means I'm going to be able to get a numeric value for the, the present value of this annuity. Now the timeline is going to look like this, and I'm asked to find the present value. Uh, it just says the present value of the annuity, but it's an annuity due, so the present value will be at the time of the first payment there. First thing I recognize is that the change in the payments, the arithmetic, the payments form an arithmetic progression with a common difference of three. So I'm going to use delta to represent that common difference. Delta is equal to a three. Then I look at the 45 and I uh, recognize that as a three times 15. So the first payment is three. I can think of as a three times one. The second payment is six. That's three times two. And then the final payment of 45 is three times 15. So the present value symbolically is just three times the cap IA double dot angle 15. Now when I plug in a closed roof formula for the cap IA double dot angle 15, I get this. The denominator is a D, and I do this all the time when I'm actually doing a numeric calculation because you're most often given an I, this case I is 6% as, as, as the annual effective interest rate. The corresponding D would be I divided by 1 plus I, when I plug that in in the denominator, I get this complex fraction. So I'm plugging in an I over a 1 plus I in the denominator. And then that, when I, when I simplify that complex fraction, I get exactly, uh, exactly this expression. I want to make an observation here. In this last expression, the fraction there is actually the closed group formula for a cap I A angle 15. So technically what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm technically finding the value of this annuity. If you, if you leave off the 1 plus i at the end, I'm technically finding the value of this annuity one period before the first payment and then multiplying by 1 plus i to get the value at the time of the uh, first payment. Okay, so that's technically what I'm doing. Let's go back to, uh, to this, this slide then. I want to focus on, on the numerator of, uh, of that fraction there that you see on the screen. Uh, the A double dot angle 15 minus a 15 V to the 15. Let me just call that a P value and you'll see why in just a second. So let's say P is equal to that. Uh, when you're trying to figure out or tr when you're trying to work with your calculator, the TVM buttons on your calculator, remember you have a standard form of these equations and that is when you set it equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract everything on the right side to, over to the left side. So I have an equation where I'm setting it equal to zero. For the moment, let's just ignore the minus 15 V to the 15th on that first expression or the, the plus 15 V. What's in blue? Ignore that for the moment. And if you were just calculating a value for uh, the numeric value for A double dot angle 15 using the TVM buttons, you would type in a 15 for N and a 6 uh, for a I slash Y. I don't have it on there, but you, the, the annual effective interest rate is 6%. And I put in the negative payment of 1 because of the in standard form there I have a P minus and uh, there's an understood minus a 1 times the A double dot angle 15 so I'll put in an, an understood 1 for the payment but now if we factor in the, the the part of you know having the minus 15 V to the 15th originally and when we moved it, moved it and put it in standard form I have a 15 V to the 15th that implies that I'm going to put in a future value of 15 and then when I compute the present value, it gives me the entire value of P. And so c computing a present value, would the result would actually be that entire numerator. So let's go back to the problem and let's talk about what I would do with the TVM buttons on the calculator. This is technically exactly what I would do then. I would, first of all, uh, I've got an A double dot value that I'm calculating, so I should be in the begin mode. I'm going to make sure I'm in the begin mode. And then I'm going to type in an, a 15, and I'm going to save that for both the N and the, pre, and the future value. So I type in 15, and I store it as both N and future value. The interest rate is 6, so I'm going to type a 6 and then hit this I slash Y button. I'm putting in a negative 1 as the payment, so I type in a 1, hit the plus minus, and then the payment. And when I compute the, the present value, 
that actually gives me the entire numerator on that expression. So let me strike through and put in that what I got was a 4.036 number there. So now that's, that's sitting in my calculator. I've got, the, uh, got that, that's the numerator sitting in my calculator. So I would need to divide that by I, in other words, divide by 0 0.06, then multiply by 1.06, and I still have to account for the three. So then multiply by a three, hit the equal sign, and that gives you your result. I get a 213.91 as that present value. So this is a standard example, but what I wanted to show you is that in the numerator uh, of this, you know, if you look at the closed roof formula for a cap IA or a cap IA double dot, the numerator you can do in one step on your calculator, and this illustrates how we would do that. All right, so I will see you in the next video.